ass to die too young Die too young Hundred miles per hour might crash Cause a good die young Yeah, a good die young Push it to the limit, I can't go no more Red light, no way I'm coming back home Long dirt road all on my own I'ma be the greatest, draw my name in the stone Draw my name in the stone Yeah, I'm coming back Yes, sir. It is Minimoto time. If you've been watching the channel recently, you'll know that I have been upgrading this Razer RSF650 quite extensively, and I've been making a couple videos about it here and there. I thought I'd take the time to officially introduce you to the bike, everything I've done to it, where you can get it yourself, and then do some riding and just show you how fun this bike really is. The bike started off as a Razer RSF from Walmart. I got it for $600. I think they went up in price a little bit since then. And then the bulk of the upgrades all came from Electro & Co. The link will be down below. I've been working with Electro & Co. to develop this kit. They've already been upgrading Razors for years, but this is their first kit specifically for the RSF. It's 6,000 watts. It's more than any of their other kits. I'm really excited about this one and really proud to be working with Electro & Co. In the Surronster Minimoto kit from Electro & Co., you'll get everything you need to make the Razor RSF into a total beat. You get a 72 volt 24 amp hour Tesla cell battery that you hook up to a fully upgraded motor and a newly tuned controller. It's all plug and play and it fully replaces the powertrain of the original bike. In addition to that, in the Surronster kit you will get two hydraulic brakes for the front and rear as well as larger 160mm rotors. There's a couple sprocket options you can choose from on the website. I stuck with the stock 11 tooth sprocket, I just took it off the original bike. That's the lowest tooth number you can put in the front which means it's the highest torque best for wheelies that's why i chose it but you can go up to like 14 teeth and gain some more top speed last but not least you also get a key ignition with a voltage meter on it which is really important the stock bike doesn't have a way of telling you what your battery is so this way you at least know your voltage that's it for the surronster upgrade kit the only other thing i've thrown on this bike and it's something i really recommend the bike comes with a solid front fork i threw on a spring suspension and it makes a total world of difference especially if you're wheeling I will have the link for these down below as well. So that's enough standing around and talking. I'm going to go out for a ride, let you know how I've been liking the bike, what I've done with it so far, top speed, range, answer some of the common questions, and as always, do some wheelies. So let's get it. All right, we're out. We got the 72 volt Suron 2. We're actually de decorating for Halloween this year. Very proud of ourselves. Got the little tombstones. Yeah. So as far as top speed on this thing, when you upgrade it with this kit, you're going as fast as the stocks are on. And you know what? I would even argue that you go faster. I'm going to have to make a video drag racing somebody on a stock Suron, but yeah, this is about the same performance as a Suron on paper for sure. About a 45 mile per hour top speed and it gets you there quick. And that's with the stunt ratio with the gear. If you geared it up in the front, you're probably hitting closer to 60, 65, which I would argue might be a little too much for this bike. But look at that, I'm popping wheelies at like 25 miles an hour. This thing is not a toy anymore. I would not put a child on this. I've already put several grown men on it and they've looped it. Turn your head towards me a little bit. Is that okay? Absolutely beautiful out. Palm trees all lit up by the sun. So it's got about the same performance as a Suron, but the craziest part is that it's like half the price, literally half the price. And it is so fun. I think the, the fun factor of this bike damn near rivals the Suron. I have equally as much fun riding this as I do my 72 volt. And I, I mentioned this in, in the other video, like because it's so small, you can't take yourself seriously. Like you're just on it to have fun. Ooh. And it holds, I'm hauling. And having the hydro brakes and the front fork, it, it really actually feels like a small start on it. doesn't just perform like one. Wait, let's pull up here.
burn out on the mini. I've been taking it to these LAE skate ride outs and it holds up so well. It's got more than enough range. Range is a really big question for these bikes and they have insane range. This bike will easily go, I would say 40 miles in my experience. I'm gonna make a full video where I scientifically test the range of this bike. Um, 40 is just sort of like the estimate in my head, but this thing has a ton of range. I'll go on these ride outs and I'll get back with like half, half my battery still left. And it's just so nice because you can throw it in the trunk of your car and it fits and you can bring it anywhere. You don't even need a bike rack. And it off-roads pretty well too. Yeah. Cop was checking us out. All right, I'll take the bike. So that's it for this video. I start, I'm starting a new series called Custom Emotos where I profile different custom builds like this one. Episode two is gonna be my Sauron. And then episode three, if you think it should be your bike, comment down below. Also down below, I wanna know if you can think of any other upgrades for this bike. One thing I have in the works right now is a wireless GPS display. So it'll tell me my speed and my range and everything. But let me know if you have any other ideas. I think I do want to powder coat everything that's silver. I want to powder coat it black. But really performance wise, this bike is outstanding. It doesn't need anything else. It's got the motor, the battery, the controller, the brakes, everything you would want to upgrade on a Sauron. Again, if you're interested in picking up a kit to upgrade a Razor RSF of your own, check out the description down below. And until next time, Stay tuned. Yeah.